Hello everybody, welcome back to RLL Studio. In today's video, I want to show you guys a little uh, trick that I found how to use a uh, replay mod on Bedrock Edition. And as you can see right now, I am playing on Bedrock Edition. I have actions and stuff installed. Um, if I hit escape, you can see that this is the Bedrock menu. And if I hit my inventory, you can see, yeah, this is Bedrock. I'm not tricking you here. This isn't a, um, a trick. Um, you can, in fact, use Replay Mod on Bedrock Edition. Now, before I continue on, you do have to have a Java account, and you do have to be on PC for this to work. So the first step in using Replay Mod on Bedrock Edition is to actually close out of Bedrock Edition, because we are going to use Java Edition. So a little while ago, I came across a mod called Via Fabric Plus. Actually, one of my friends came across this mod. And this mod uh, on Java Edition allows you to connect to older versions of Minecraft, but also Bedrock Edition. Now, it's not complete as of right now. There are uh, a couple things that don't work, and it is basically unplayable right now, um, survival-wise. You can't really place blocks, you can't break blocks, you can't really access your inventory, and overall, it's just not in a playable state. However, um, you can still, you can join Bedrock servers perfectly fine. So all you really need is Fabric and this mod via Fabric Plus, but I have installed, uh, obviously we need, we want replay mod, but um, I've installed shaders and a couple other mods as well. Now, I'm using Modrinth, by the way, to launch this, but you can do this without Modrinth. This is just how I play Java Edition through the Mo uh, Modrinth launcher because it's easier for me to install mods. But So once Java Edition launches, all you have to do is click on the multiplayer tab. Make sure that you see Via Fabric Plus up here. Um, and you can also see the that uh, Bedrock is green, so it's it's there. You can use it, or even if it's red, just make sure it's here um, and make sure you got the right mod. You can change some of the settings if you want with Via Fabric Plus, um, but all you have to do is add a server and then put in a server at the Bedrock server address like you would a Java server address. And once you do that, you should be able to connect to your Bedrock server via Java Edition. Now, it's not going to be, again, playable. Um, and as you can see, some of the block states are broken. And if I fly, this is kind of funny. Right now, it kicks you, um, which is great. But let's reconnect. But I found that we can do some pretty cool stuff with this, uh, with this mod, um, such as using Replay Mod. And I imagine in the future, when this becomes actually survival playable, you can install other client-side mods, such as Lightmatica. So this is a pretty useful tool. As you can see, the stairs are broken as well. They don't really work properly. But uh, we can totally use this for replay mod. Um, if I remember how to start recording. Ah, there we go. I had multiplayer recording turned off by accident. But now, as you can see, it says recording started. We could walk around and do some stuff. Again, we can't really... Uh, you know, use our inventory or uh, place blocks. But if we were on a, another account, let's say I logged into this account as a camera account and then logged into another account as on Bedrock Edition as my actual playing account, uh, the camera account would be recording this whole entire world's progress, everything that's happening, and we can uh, save it for later uh, in editing. But uh, I'm just gonna continue to walk around and um, just just walk around for a little bit longer so I can show you guys that it does actually work. Oh, I accidentally flew. Whoops. Oh, and it's saving up there. Okay. All right. So now, as you can see, replay mod is doing its thing. We'll do um, swords, swords Edge Test 2 because I already did a test. Test 2. Done. And then we can go to our replay viewer and we can load this up. And as you can see, it's, I don't know why it's a little choppy right now, but you can see that 
Replay Mod is working on a Bedrock Edition server, which is really awesome. If I back up some and fly up, you can see that we have Replay Mod working. Okay, that's paused. Um, I want to turn on shaders real quick again because I turned them off. Disabled, enabled, and we can have Replay Mod. It, it's really, really awesome, this, this mod. And I will be definitely using this for future videos if I ever get back to making Swords Edge videos again. We can fly around again. Some of the blocks are broken, the block states. Um, but it works pretty well. Um, and I'm sure if you're just using it for time lapse purposes, it's not going to be noticeable some of these issues that are occurring. Because your camera is probably going to be over here or something kind of far away. I imagine you're not going to get too much up close detail, but you can really just fly around and even though the players are down there. Um, yeah, there I am, as you can see. Player skins also aren't a thing yet, but um, that's okay. Again, if you're using for time lapses, you probably won't really see um, the player skin anyway. So yeah, I just thought I would make this quick little tutorial, um, little simple tutorial. I didn't really go into much detail, um, but definitely keep an eye out on this mod. I'm going to keep an eye out on this mod because um, once it continues to improve and the block states are fixed and stuff you should be able to play on bedrock edition servers with a java edition client um very soon it sounds like it's uh pretty close to being done um we just have a few things but um for now it's pretty useful for replay mod anyway that's gonna do it i hope you all enjoyed this quick little video and i will talk to you in the next one bye bye